three, two, one. According to the New Testament, the timeline says that you die, and if you belong to Jesus Christ, then you will be with him, which is the best thing that you could possibly imagine. But it will be a time of rest and refreshment and delight. I don't think it will be an unconscious time, but it's hard to describe who we will be at that point. You can use the word soul if you like, but the Bible doesn't use the word soul that often, so it's not necessarily a great help to know whether that's the best way of talking about it. But then after that time, and it's hard to say whether we will experience it as a long time or not, though there are some hints that we might, then God will do something quite new with the whole creation, and all those who have been in that resting mode, if you like, will be raised from the dead and will be the new inhabitants of this new heaven and earth together, which God will make, which will be both very like what we presently know and quite unlike, because there will be no death, no corruption, no decay. It's hard for us because our minds are conditioned by a lot of Western philosophical thought. It's hard for us to imagine a non-corruptible physicality, a body that won't be corruptible and decaying. But that is what we're promised, and it's actually very exciting, even though it's hard to imagine it. <laughs>